I do, yes. OK. And You're you not a surgeon, are you? <laughs> Oh, good job not. No, okay, I'm job. not uh, Martin Clunes. OK. <laughs> and how, um, how, how when, do, you know, do you know when this started, or is it just you've always had it? Um, I had it for as long as I can remember, probably going back till I was about eight years old. OK. Um, I remember when I was at school, my friend put her, thing, her hand through the window and severed her artery, and there was oh. blood everywhere, and I was the first one on the scene, and I think ever since then it's just... That's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's awful. What's, what's really interesting, when you say you were first on the scene, why were you the first on the scene? Well, I was just playing with her, so there was no one around, and it was my job to go and get help. OK. OK, and did you do that, Amy? I did. OK, well, firstly, well done for doing that. Uh, secondly, you'll notice Holly's uh, reaction to what you just said, and I think that anyone would react in the same way, because it's... It's the shock factor, really, because you might have seen someone cut their hand before, but actually severing an artery, as you probably know, the blood sprays all over the place. So it's that yeah. shock uh, that you were probably not expecting. And in that moment of, of shock and in fear, you've got to try and find... It feels really uncomfortable, and you've got to find something to blame because you don't want to be in that situation ever again. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. I don't like talking about it or seeing it. If anyone talks about it, even now, it's making me feel really uncomfortable. I'm feeling a bit hot. OK, <laughs> I understand, but you're seeing this from... This This memory was created when you were a child and you're still seeing it in that way. What I want you to do mm -hmm. is sort of step out of it and see it as an adult because, ultimately, in that moment, you were a little girl, you saw this girl sever the artery, you were really scared, uh, and, and you didn't know what to do. But, actually, what you did, you did absolutely the right thing, you went to get help, and the girl was OK. So, mm -hmm. uh, and whereas in that moment had been absolutely scared and you had to find something to blame, you actually attributed that blame to blood as opposed to looking at it for what it was, and it was an accident. The girl didn't want that to happen. It was an accident. You couldn't stop the accident, but you solved the issue, and the girl was then OK. So, essentially, blood was a, you know, a bystander in this situation, but you blamed it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does a bit. Yes, yes. OK. Yeah. And, I mean, the other thing, without blood, none of us would be here. You know, so blood is actually a great thing. And so what, you, what we'd like you to consider now is realising that actually the blood was equal innocent, it was nothing, it just happened to be there, um, but the, the reason that that all occurred and the, the, the person or the thing that actually created this fear was you, your friend having that accident, uh, albeit obviously she didn't want that to happen, but it was actually, mm -hmm. it was actually the, the shock, because any phobia starts when we're in a heightened state of emotion, and it was actually the shock of, of what happened and not the blood, because what did the blood do? Nothing. No. Okay, there's that word again, nothing. I know, it's like, yeah. that's the, the moment, yeah. isn't it? The penny it drop. Is. Yeah. Okay, so are you I'm feeling less hot now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've calmed down actually, yeah. Brilliant. Oh, you. Okay. Brilliant. Good. You that's should amazing. you should feel better about that now because it's everything in a phobia is it's almost like we're trapped in time when mm. it was created. And all we've done there is given you some evidence to be able to actually see it from an adult's perspective and take you out from being that child because every time you see blood, it's almost like you go back to being that eight year old and say, right. I'm seeing blood, how should I feel? And you were, in, in essence, taking the advice of you as an eight-year-old. All we've done there is give you a little bit more evidence to realise, actually, the blood did nothing, and it was the shock that created the phobia, not the blood, so stop blaming blood. And finally, you saved the day. Thank you for your I call. I did, but I, I did faint after I went and got the teacher for help. Well, there you go, I you see. Saved the day. It's saved the day. Yeah.